Well, you've introduced a kid from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I didn't think it either, so uh, it's great to be with you. This historic investment for Ohio, one of the largest investments in semiconductor manufacturing in American history. A brand new $20 billion campus outside of Columbus, Ohio. 7,000 construction jobs. 3,000 full-time jobs. And I was kidding Pat earlier. I said, I may need a job. And he, he said, well, it's not bad. You start over 100,000 bucks on the line, but I got to get some training. Well, semiconductors are small computer chips that power virtually everything in our lives. Your phone, your car, your refrigerator, your washing machine, hospital equipment, the internet, the electric grid, and so much more. And here's the deal. America invented these chips. America invented these chips. Today, we barely produce 10% of the computer chips despite being the leader in chip design and research. And we don't have the ability to make the most advanced chips now, right now. But today, 75% of the production takes place in East Asia. 90% of the most advanced chips are made in Taiwan. China is doing everything it can to take over the global market. We are going to invest in America. We're investing in American workers. We're going to stamp everything we can made in America, especially these computer chips. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that. Mark my words before your tenure is over. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name.